What's up you guys? Today we are going to learn how to create a favicon in Canva for free. And I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One that has a transparent background and one that does not. Okay, so go to canva.com. You do not need to have a Canva Pro account to do this. I will show you um, how quick and easy it is. So we're gonna go to click create a design and we're gonna click on a custom dimensions. Make sure the pixel icon, or the pixel setting is set and we're gonna do 100 by 100. Hit create. Now a favicon is usually smaller than 100 by 100 but this one, this size works fine. So first we're going to do the regular favicon that is not a transparent background. First we're going to go to the elements and we're going to get just a square background. You can adjust the size and then change the color to your branded colors. Now the reason why you want to have a favicon that matches your branded colors because it really sets into people's minds what your brand is and what your colors are. So I have my branded colors here because I do have a pro account, but you can simply click on here, um, find your slider or type in your hex code. Okay, also keep in mind that favicons are very, very small. Do you see the Canva icon of uh, favicon up at the top? There's really only room for one letter. <laughs> so keep these as simple, simple as you can. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a simple letter. And be careful when you're trying to move these text boxes around um, that you see the crosshairs cursor like this. That means it's okay to move it. And Canva will show you alignment. Um, it has a line in the center, a line on the horizontal. Grab the crosshairs and center it in there for you. We're gonna make this white and we're gonna change the font to something that closer represents what I have on my website, which is April. Okay, make sure that your letter is a good size. It doesn't have to be huge, but at least fill up most of the area. So now what we're gonna do is download it. The PNG is the recommended uh, file format. Hit download. Okay, we're gonna go over to our website. We're gonna go to design, logo and title. And if you scroll down, you will see the browser icon or favicon. So you can browse or you can just drag it in there. Now hit save. It might take a couple times to refresh your browser browser till you see that icon. And if I scroll up here, you can see that it has showed up. And see how it's really important to make sure that you have one item in there because that's really all you can see at that <laughs> tiny of a size. Okay, now we're going to do another icon that has a transparent background. I just duplicated it. What we're going to do is we're going to change this background to something a little more stylish. We're going to go to our simple drawn objects here. And we're going to grab this icon. And we're going to make it as big as possible. You can make it bleed off the page if you like, that's fine. And we're going to send it to the back. Now we're going to save this page, just this page, it's our second page. We're going to hit download. We're going to say transparent background. The transparent background option is only for pro members. Uh, pro membership is not very expensive, I highly recommend it. I've actually found a lot of benefit in having the pro account. I was really stubborn at the beginning and insisting that I not pay for the pro account, but this has been really, really helpful. It's way cheaper than having a professional software program. Okay, we're gonna go back over to our website and we're gonna add the new icon. And as you can see, it has a transparent background. And when we save, 
we're going to do a couple refreshes to our browser. Okay, and now you can see the icon is now a transparent background which gives it a circle look. And you can barely see the color transition there, so that might not be a big deal. But um, that shows your Favicon up there. You might need to refresh your cache um, if it's not showing up in your browser or even trying it in a new browser just so that you can get a fresh look at it. But it should update pretty quickly. Okay, and that's it for creating a Favicon in Canva for free. If you'd like to try out Canva Pro, there is a free trial that you can try out. Add in your brand colors, your logo, and get access to all the pro features, including pro fonts and photos. And if you're wanting to get a website for your side hustle, your small business, I do have a Squarespace course on how to build a really beautiful website is geared towards essential oil people but it can really be used for anybody over on my sharonmarta.com website hope you have a great day bye